Hey guys, I was just going to do a quick video. Because at least I'm sh beginning to share my life with you guys. And, you know, through this and through my blog. So, I was going through sick and shedding list basically just praying over a list somebody put it on Facebook and asked us to pray about it and you know we have these lists I'm a prayer warrior at my church so we will also put out these lists and we pray over the request well as I was going down the list there was a pastor on the list and I was always praying for him God began to speak and he said, isn't it amazing that none of the disciples got sick while they was walking with Jesus? That's how I look like, what? So immediately, it was almost like a doubt. Because what I did was started to Google. I Googled, um... Have the disciples ever gotten sick? That was the first thing I googled. And then I looked over, you know, I looked all in the Bible and I'm like, I don't see this anywhere. You know, I'm trying to find a scripture, nothing. And so, but the scriptures I did find was the power that God gave them, the power that Jesus gave them to heal all manner of sickness, all manner of disease, and to preach and to teach. That was it. While they was walking with Jesus, you never read about them getting sick. Now, I know in the Bible it does say that Jesus did so many things that this don't even capture everything that he did while he was here. But I believe God, the most important thing, it was all important, but the most important thing are in the Bible. And if he's given us power to do those, you know, we going and praying for people and going around, you know, doing things. We're not supposed to be sick. Just say, okay, Jesus put on flesh and skin and all that. He was supposed to be a human so the mold could be a human mold. If it's a human mold, that means he had an immune system. It means he had one. So if he had an immune system, you never heard about him getting sick. Never heard about the disciples getting sick. Now, I'm not saying what happened before, but why they were walking with him. Even right now, he's bringing up the passage about when one of them said, you know, I, Jesus, I want to come with you, but somebody's died and let me go bury him. And he said, let the dead bury their dead. That's some strange stuff. I mean, just think about it. I mean, there's nowhere where it says the disciples got sick. Nowhere. I mean, it's just like, what? And when he said it, that showed me, I mean... I say I didn't doubt, but I guess there must have been a part of me that did doubt. Because then I began to try to find it. Like, oh my God, if this is true, to me, I just got to keep it real on what he's saying. If this is true, and we are his disciples, and we're supposed to be walking with him, we're not supposed to get sick. We're not supposed to get any diseases. We're not supposed to get uh, any sicknesses. I mean, I'm I'm trying to keep it like where y'all really believe that I'm not falling off the handle. Or I don't went all the way left. Like I'm trying. I want to say my my flesh shot of me wants to say, well, of course we should be able to get a cold. <laughs> of course we should be able to have the flu. But the other side of me says, are we? Are we supposed to be getting sick? Are we supposed to be? Is sickness supposed to enter our body? Is that of God? It can't be of God if he tells his disciples to go and heal. They couldn't tell him. If he if he sent them out on an assignment, could they call in sick? Could they say they were sick? 
I'm at an L. I really am because really I'm trying to figure it out of my own thoughts. And this is one of the times. These are the things that like I struggle with. When God says something, boom, that should just be it. But I'm that type of daughter of his that I want to make sure. I like want to, you know, I want him to say, yes, this is what I'm saying. And I know even right now that's what he's saying. There was a, it was a pastor. So it's like, wow, he's coughing up blood, a pastor. You know, it's like, after I kept reading it, it was like, are we, you know, he's the leader of the flock. Not my pastor, but a pastor. I mean, it's like, think about it. Are we? If we were his disciples and we sent out to heal all manner of disease, all manner of sickness, to cast out demons, which is a sickness. Think of all the sicknesses. Those are must be like spirits. They're like spirits. And they're not spirits of God. I mean, even to go deeper with it. The spirit of retardism. I mean, I don't, you know, handicapped. I mean, the severely handicapped. That shows me that is a spirit that's handicapping their bones. That's holding them up in position. That's holding them to where you can't understand what they're saying. To have them all over. The spirits are controlling them. Even though they know how to praise. We're supposed to pray this off of them. There, there's not supposed to be this going on in the church. In our church. In our house. If we see it. Are we bold enough? To go pray? Are we bold enough to say. Not on my watch, because God said, and Jesus gave, God said we have all authority. Jesus gave us all power. So if he's given us the power to do these things, and we just sitting around and, like, feeling sorry for people, or sitting around and thinking, maybe in somebody's thoughts, I wish I could do that. Or me, like I sit down and wait for the opportunity. I don't know if they're just supposed to come to me. Or Lord, am I supposed to go to them? Them are my questions. You know, I don't want to be act out of line. I, don't, I want you to tell me when. You know, I don't want to have a missed opportunity. But this is something to really ponder on, guys. I mean, it really is. And I know, you know, I usually do videos on the word. But this is word. I mean, this is, you know, I... We really need to take this to God in prayer. And I really had an urgency to do this video. I had an urgency in my spirit. I even put it out there on Facebook. Has anybody ever known of the disciples getting sick while they was walking with Jesus? Does anybody ever know, has anybody ever known about anything about that? And that was me doubting. Because if God told me, why am I asking them to go out and try to go find it? Why am I calling people to say, have you ever heard of the disciples being sick? And they like, no, I haven't. Well, then why are we sick and we his disciples? And just because you could say here, well, because Keisha, they was walking with Jesus. You could say that. But ain't we supposed to be walking with Jesus daily? Ain't we supposed to be in his word and he teaching us? That's what we do in the Bible. That's what we do in prayer. And the Bible is where he teaches us. And the Bible is where he talks to us. And prayer is where our constant communication is. He said, Jesus said, I don't do anything on my own accord, but it's by my father. And if it's by his father, and he went to go be with his father, and he said, y'all will do even greater works than what I've done. Are we not doing, we, are we not on our job? Are we not, are we sleep on the job? Are we... Not really looking at what he's saying, just going through the motions, and we're supposed to be doing something bigger, something greater. These are just my thoughts. It really is. These are just my thoughts. I'm really going to have to go to prayer about this. I want you to go to prayer. I would love to receive your comments. I would love to see what you think about this video. I would love to see what God is telling you about it. Whatever, of course, I come up with, or whatever God tells me, I will be sure to let you guys know. Now, much love and many blessings to all of you.